what is going on everybody as you guys can see guys we are back at it with another lspdfr episode as you guys can see guys we are doing a sheriff patrol today and we are actually in sandy shores actually to download a new vehicle pack so i'm just gonna keep the intro short and simple guys we're gonna be doing a sheriff patrol in sandy shores so let's just get straight into it guys let's go um i'll be showing you guys what the vehicle model that we are using today is a ford 2020 interceptor it's got the sheriff blaine county uh skin on it as you can see can see guys uh these are some new skins that i downloaded um i think they look pretty sick i'll show you guys the lights in a minute once i get inside right here as you guys can see guys do have the headlights right here we have two red lights on the side over here and let me actually get a better view uh and get in a better spot so you guys can see the lights a little bit better if you guys can see guys this is stage one of the lights it is the traffic advisors going right to left uh it's actually, I, I i personally i think that these are the coolest lights that i've ever done and then uh we got the second one this is the Traffic advisor is still to the left, uh, to the right, to the left. Then we got the blue wig wags in back. And then also for the full out one, we just got a all blue. Yeah, we got blues, blues on the side, blues on top, blues in the back. We also got blues in front, guys. So overall, this car is very sick. I really enjoy this car. I've been just driving around with it. So we're going to be getting straight into the patrol, guys. As you can see, can see we're going to be doing a nighttime patrol. month dispatch know that we are available for calls dispatch. We are currently 10-8. Let's see what we can get into, guys, today. Alright guys, so it does look like we have a stolen emergency vehicle on Sandy Shores. We're going to be taking that. Looks like it is a police vehicle that has been stolen. So we're going to be trying to catch up to the street as fast as possible. Looks like this person is actually coming this way. So we're going to see if we can block off the road here. And we're going to see what happens. Hopefully this guy will stop. I'm Okay, it's the guy right behind here. Oh my god. Oh, just rammed right into my vehicle. Holy crap. So it does look like he did take a uh, Last Santos type police vehicle he so i think he actually drove this vehicle all the way out from los santos into sandy shores that's kind of crazy holy crap we're now going southbound on marina drive oh my god this cop just freaking hit the pole right here we're gonna see if we can stop this guy as quick and as fast as possible and yeah we'll see what goes down right here hey man stop the vehicle stop the vehicle man stop the vehicle all right, we're trying to get him trapped into the wall right here. Oh, looks like he is surrendering. Alrighty, all right, man, out of the vehicle now. Get on the ground. Hey, man, on the ground right now. Hey, get on, get on the ground right now, man. Get on the ground, man. All right, we're gonna be arresting a suspect. He is gonna be detained. And we are code four with this call. Holy crap! What a way to start the episode. Holy. All right, man. Ah, uh, what are you doing, man? Like what? It's none of your business. All right, man. Have you been drinking at all? I don't drink alcohol. Have you been doing any drugs or anything recently? What is drugs? I don't want to die. All right, man. Well, I'm going to be patting you down just to make sure you don't have anything on you. Do have anything that will poke stick me or make me bleed or anything like that? We're going to see if he has anything. Okay, so he does have a baggie of meth on him. So we are going to be... He is going to be uh, charged with uh, stealing a... um, a, What's it called? A police vehicle and also a possession of meth. So we're going to be taking this guy into our vehicle and we'll be creating the rest support for you guys okay this thing is really buggy so we're gonna try to get out here as fast as possible <laughs> all right so we're gonna be towing the police vehicle and then we are also gonna be putting this guy in the back of my seat in the back of my car so he doesn't actually try to run away from us all right man all right, awesome he's in the back of my vehicle i'm gonna be towing this police vehicle i don't really need to search the police vehicle or anything like that because i know actually i i, I guess i will search it um Actually, I don't know if I actually can search a police vehicle. Yeah, right. yeah, never mind, guys. I can't really search a police vehicle. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be towing this cop car. And then we'll be creating the rest of support on this guy. Alrighty, we're going to be open up our stop uh, compute, li uh, compute light system. We got Max Anderson. So he does not have any citation records or arrest records. We're going to be creating arrest support. So first, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing some reckless driving. <clears throat> uh, leaving the scene of an... Actually, no, we'll do uh, evading arrest. Then also leaving the scene of an accident because we did actually just freaking he just rammed right into my vehicle when I tried to stop him up there. Then he'll also be charged with um, Grand Theft Auto. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Let's see. Drug possessions, a possession of methamphetamine. Alrighty, and then possession of stolen property, possession of a stolen vehicle, and government property because that was. Uh, a government vehicle and then let's see if we have anything else we got resisting arrest as well and then 
and I think that is it, guys. All right, cool. So we're gonna be uh, submitting these charges right now. So we we have them um, down as resisting arrest, possession of a stolen vehicle, possession of a stolen government property, uh, possession of stolen property, possession of methamphetamine, and, and grab the thought out, guys. Awesome, guys. So we're gonna be taking this guy over to the um the station, uh, so where other officers can take care of him, and we're gonna be seeing what else we can get into, guys. So dispatch, if you can show us 10-8, that would be awesome. Here we go, guys. Alright guys, so it looks to be a gang attack in Sandy Shores. We're going to be seeing what this is all about. We're going to be answering this question. It does look like we do have a lot of people down the road right over here. So this might get messy really quick, guys. I'm going to be grabbing my rifle from my vehicle actually right now. And we're going to be seeing what is going on with this. I'm turning off our siren right now. Looks like these people are... Oh, okay. It looks like there's shots fired. Dispatch, there's shots fired. Can we get some... Additional units to my location, please. Alright, we got some more additional units. Looks like there are shots fired. Hey, man, guys, put the gun down, man. Put the gun down. Put the gun down, man. Put the gun down. Looks like this person is trying to shoot me over here. We can see if we can get this guy right over here. Shots fired at my vehicle. I'll dispatch. Hey man, put the gun down! Put the gun down, man! Oh my god, alright guys, so we do have shots fired right over here. Put the gun down, man! Put the gun down! Put the gun down! Alright, dispatch reader, code 4. All suspects are down. We get some um, EMS to my location, please, as fast as possible. Alright, we're gonna get some ambulance over here. We're also gonna be shutting down this block right now. We're going to make sure all these guys are indeed down so they don't try to pull a move on us. I'm going to be collecting all the weapons from the scene. And then we'll go on from there, guys. Right, it looks like this guy is down. I'll be collecting his Glock that he had on him. We're going to be checking this guy as well. Alrighty, this guy seems to be down as well. He had, did have an Uzi on him. Holy crap. All right. And also, this guy had an Uzi on him as well. But, uh, yeah, guys. So, we're going to see what the EMS can do with all these guys. Hey, you guys doing? Hey, can you guys go check on the guys, please? Thank you. Alright, so hopefully these paramedics can get these guys back up. And then they will be transported with them. If not, then we're going to be out the calling coroner over to the location. Alrighty, so it looks like they do have one of the suspects up. They're going to be taking them. They're going to be taking that guy with them, and then... Alright, looks like another person is up, and this guy over here did not make it, so we're going to have to call coroner for this guy. But this person did make it, this person also made it, and this guy has not made it, so we're going to be calling coroner, and then we'll be on our way, guys. Dispatch, can I get coroner units to my location, please? Sandy Shores. Alrighty guys, we're gonna be waiting till the corner gets here and then we'll be on our way. Alright, here we go guys. So we got corner over here. Alright guys, so they have that under control. I will be on my way now. These sheriff's officers, I don't know where they went. They just ran all the way down here. But we will be good to go right now. And we're gonna get out of here. Alright guys, so we're going to be sitting at the stop sign right now because usually a lot of people just like that guy just rolled right through that stop sign. We're going to be seeing what that guy is on about because this guy literally didn't even acknowledge the stop sign at all. We're going to be pulling this van over just to make sure everything is good with him. And then, yeah, we'll go on from there. Alrighty, awesome. Looks like he just pulled over around the side over here. And also we will be getting a vehicle check from dispatch. Target vehicle license plate. Already? Four seven Henry Sam No vehicle Charles, flags. Four seven eight. Target is ten four. Already, so we're gonna be walking up to this guy just to make sure everything is good with him. And also, guys, I did download some new uh, questions. So if I do, uh, if I am a little bit slower on these, um, I guess uh, pullovers, just because it's just, it's because I downloaded like a lot more questions to actually ask these people. 
Hello, ma'am. How you doing today? Can I get your driver's license, uh, registration, and proof of insurance, please? What are you doing there, pal? Thank you so much, ma'am. And do you know the reason why I pulled you up, pulled you over? Uh, do you know why I stopped you? You can totally look like a celebrity. Can you get your one? Uh, no, ma'am. That is not why I pulled you over today. Um, the reason why I pulled you over is because you actually s failed to stop at that stop sign back there. You didn't even see it. Well, you just completely like didn't even acknowledge it, and you just rolled right through it. Give me a second, ma'am. All right, so we're just gonna make sure everything is good, and it looks like I, I what? Okay, so I forgot to dis. Oh my god, I literally forgot to dismiss all these officers. So I guess they're all around my car. Okay, so we got some ultimate backup with us. <laughs> so we're gonna be checking just to make sure this lady is good, and I think I'll just give her a warning because she did say she didn't see it. It's really late at night. All right, so she just have some type citations of broken windows, parking in a loading zone, and parking near sidewalk. So I think we'll just give her a warning today. Um, it is pretty dark out and there is actually no lights around those stop signs So she might have accidentally just not saw it or anything like that. I'm gonna be a good guy today. I'll give him a, I'll give her a warning Alrighty, ma'am, uh, here's your step back. Sorry for the wait uh, Hold on. Where is it? Uh, ending All right, uh, sorry for the wait. Here's your stuff back ma'am. Are you single? I got a cousin that would find you adorable. All right, ma'am. That is not really appropriate to this situation all right i'm just gonna be giving you a warning today okay that really means the world to me yeah no problem so just make sure you watch your watch where you're going try to watch for stop signs and everything like that don't do that again all right ma'am uh you are free to go when i get back into my vehicle all right best thing i've heard all day all right so be careful merging back in the traffic all righty so we are going to be on our way folks once we get in the vehicle she will be good to go all righty Awesome, guys. So, we're going to be telling Dispatch that we are currently 10-8. Dispatch, we are currently 10-8. And then we'll be seeing what is going on around the city, boys. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. So, it looks like we do have a person with a knife. We are going to be responding code 3 to this. And we're going to be seeing what is going on with this guy over here. We got to try to find... Right, I'm actually be killing my siren right now because I am actually near the place. I actually do think I do see the suspect. He is walking through the bushes right now. And it, it does look like this guy is actually trying to run from me, so we're going to be calling some local uh, units my location, please. Hopefully we can get this guy on foot. He is trying to run away from me right now, actually. Hey, man, stop running, man. Put that knife down, man. Put that knife down. Stop running. Oh, my God. This cannot be good. He is running around with a knife. I really hope he doesn't trip or anything like that. I may have to tase him. Hey, man. Put the knife down, man. Put the knife down. Put the knife down, man. Put the knife down. Taser, taser, taser deployed, taser deployed. Get on the ground, man. Get on the ground, put the knife down. Drop that knife. Okay. Now get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Alright, looks like this officer actually got him. And then we will be good to go. Oh my god, this guy literally tried charging me with that knife. Holy crap. Officers, thank you. I appreciate it. Alright, we're going to be questioning this guy right now. All right, man. Um, what are you doing, man? Why are you walking around with a knife? You needed some fresh air. All right, where were you coming from? I have the right to main silent. All right, ma'am. Oh man, have you been drinking at all? No. All right, you have anything illegal on you I should know about? Perhaps I have some. All right, well, I'm gonna be patting you down just to make sure you don't have anything on you. Do you have anything that will poke, stick me, make me bleed, or anything like that? All righty, we'll see what you got on you. Okay, guys, so he does have a baggie of white powder, a plane ticket, and illegal prescription pills. So he will be uh, charged with that. So we're going to be actually testing all this stuff just to make sure everything is good. Yeah. But he is going to be arrested for uh, attempted murder on a police officer. So let's actually get him out of the road right now So because I, I don't want this guy to get run over by this oh, car right here because he looks like he is in a hurry. <laughs> we're going to be getting out of the road right now. All right, man, if you can get in the back of my vehicle, that would be great. All right, man, watch your head. Already awesome guys. We're gonna be um Let's make sure everything is good on this guy. We're gonna be checking this guy's report and then we'll be creating the police support with this guy. Alright, so his name is Kalium. So his driver's license is suspended, but that doesn't really do anything with us right now. Uh so he has does have some citation records. So we're gonna be creating the rest support right now. Uh what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing evading arrest. Actually, no, no not evading arrest, because that's that, that's a traffic actually thing. Property, um 
Uh, so we're going to be actually be doing some trespassing. Um, we're going to be charging him with trespassing because he was running through a bunch of different lots. So that is going to be trespassing in private property. We're also going to be, um, uh, what's it called? Um, what else we got? Uh, possession of a deadly weapon. And then we got uh, attempt to murder on a police officer. And then also I do have to actually test these pills as well. So we will be setting, uh, we will be actually submitting these charges and then we are going to be testing these pills as well, just to make sure we don't have to do anything else. All right. So let's test this, uh, narcotics back here. All right. So we're going to be doing a baggie of white powder first. So I'm going to be assuming that this is heroin. Um, let's see if this actually is heroin. All right, so it is positive for heroin, so we will be charged possession of heroin, and also let's do these illegal pills. We're gonna be testing him for ecstasy. All right, negative on ecstasy. We'll see if it's LSD. All right, negative on that. Let's try fentanyl. Negative on that, and then lastly, PCP, which I'm. Assuming it is because these are legal prescription pills. All right, guys. So it is, uh, po it is positive for PCP. So he'll be, um, what's called charged with possession of, uh, heroin and also possession of PCP. So let's create another arrest report right now. I just don't want to forget this possession of heroin and possession of PCP. So let's do drug possessions, possession of heroin and possession of, um, PCP. Boom. All right, guys. So we got those charges submitted as well. So we, right now we have in possession of PCP, possession of heroin, theft, murder, police officer, possession of a deadly weapon, and trespassing as well. All right, guys. So we're gonna be taking this guy over to the police station, and then we'll be on our way, guys. Let's see what else we can get into. All right, guys. So it does look like I do. It does look like we do have Grand Theft Auto actually in Sandy Shores right now. We're gonna be catching up to the pursuit right now. Code three. Looks like it is this guy right now. So looks like this guy did steal this vehicle. We're gonna be getting some additional use in my location, please. The local air support, air support unit. So I'm assuming this car is actually stolen, so we're gonna be seeing what is going on with this guy. We're going to catch up with him. Hopefully, we can try to get this guy to stop. And then, so that also be our last call of the day, folks, as well. All right, we're gonna see if we can try to stop this guy. I'm gonna try to get in front of him and stuff like that. Hopefully, he doesn't try to crash right into my vehicle. See if we can stop this guy. Getting right in front of him, and he actually is turning left over here. Okay, so, look, oh my god, he almost hit that person right off the ATV. Holy crap. Hopefully we can catch up to this guy. All right, local, uh, dispatch, can we get some patrol units to my location, please? We're gonna be trying to go for a pit right here. Hopefully we can. Pit was successful. He's spinning out right in the middle of the road right now. All right, she is re okay. She is actually running. Dispatch, we got a runner. Hey, ma'am, stop running! You're gonna get tased, ma'am. You're gonna get tased. Stop running. I'm gonna give you one more warning. Stop running! You're gonna get tased. All right. Well, I guess I didn't have to give a warning. That guy just went right through it. All right, ma'am, get on the ground now. On the ground, ma'am. On the ground. Alrighty. So I think one of these officers will get her. I said I'll, I'll give you one more warning and then that's and then the other officers tased them <laughs> All right, we got the person in custody All right, ma'am, um What are you doing? What, what is going on over here? You're just hanging around. Okay, ma'am. Uh, let's see if we can get a question with actually the vehicle Um Alright, actually no, let's do anything. Alright ma'am, have you been drinking at all? Shark from the Eagle, no alcohol in your blood? Alright, uh, any drugs or anything like that recently? Alright, do you have anything illegal on you that I should know about? We're a good citizen. Alright, well, I'm gonna be patting you down just to make sure I have anything on you. Do you have anything that will poke stick me or make me bleed or anything like that? No? Alright, we'll see. Alright, so she does have a baggie of heroin illegal prescription pills as well. Jeez, everybody's got freaking heroin and freaking legal pills around here. All right, ma'am. So we're, you're going to be arrested for Grand Theft Auto and also for possession of heroin and of these illegal pills as well. We'll be testing those illegal pills. We're going to be calling your transport over here. And then also let's, let's actually create the arrest report right now. And then we'll be calling a transport over for her. 
then I think that will do it for the rest of the episode, guys. We're going to be getting over here. We're, now, we're also going to be searching the vehicle and then requesting a tow truck, tow truck as well for it. Alrighty, alright ma'am, so can you uh, kneel down for me right here please? Thank you. Let me see if I can actually ask her about the vehicle. Um, yeah, actually no, I, don't, I can't guys. I tried downloading these new questions, but I don't, don't really see any vehicle questions. I, I, might, I might just be blind, but I don't really see them. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, um, uh, what's it called, searching the vehicle to make sure there's nothing else in here. So she's going to be arrested though for Grand Theft Auto and also. Possession of uh, all the drugs that she had on Mishikisha. So nothing into the nothing in the vehicle. We're getting a tow truck for it, and then we'll be creating the rest support for her. All right, ma'am. You get up for me. All right, you're gonna be placed in the back of my vehicle. Right, you put in the rear seat. Alrighty, and then we'll be creating a rest support for her as well. You want your medication? I'm gonna try to get out of the road so all these people can get get around while these cops just crash into that car. Awesome. All right, all right, guys. So let's create the rest support for her, and then we will check the court cases after, after we uh, give her off to their um dispatch. Oh, so she does have a warrant for transporting undocumented immigrant. All right, guys. So she is gonna be arresting arrested for that as well. She had a warrant for an arrest. I didn't even know that she had a warrant. I didn't even say that. But um, we're going to be creating an arrest report for her. So let's first do traffic. We're going to be doing evading arrest, leaving, uh, reckless driving, and also speeding of 100 miles per hour or more. And also we'll be doing um, Grand Theft Auto. And then uh, possession of, shoot, it was heroin. Yes, possession of heroin on her. And also, um, let's see what else. Uh... Also, actually, I think that's it. All right, guys, so yeah, that is it. We'll be submitting these citations. We'll be dropping her off to the um, to the police station. But for now, we have possession of heroin, Grand Theft Auto for her, speeding 100 plus, reckless driving, and evading arrest. So yeah, guys, we're going to be uh, transporting her over to the actual police station. I'm, I'm actually just going to call a dispatch over here to get her because we're, we're going to be checking out the court cases right now. All right, ma'am, I'm going to be getting a transport over for you. Once this officer gets her, we'll be looking at the court cases. If he can get over here. Come on, officer. You can do it. Oh, my God. Okay, what just happened? Holy crap. <laughs> All right, looks like the officer is pulling up over here. To get this woman. And then we'll be good to go. Okay, I don't know what the hell just happened to my guy, too. I don't got any eyebrows or anything. What the hell is going on? <laughs> I guess we're gonna be checking out these arrest reports right now. So we actually do into the, go into the computer. We can actually see the court cases, and as you guys can see, we have like a billion names on here because I was trying to test out everything. So hopefully we can actually try to see which one it is. Okay, so I think it actually was. I'm not too sure how many people we actually have arrested. So I think uh, we're just gonna start with this one. So first off, we have Max Anderson. He was evading arrest, leaving the scene of accident, reckless driving, grand theft auto, possession of a meth, possession of a stolen vehicle, possession of a uh, stolen government property, stolen vehicle, um, and then a re resisting arrest. This was the person that actually stole the police vehicle. We're gonna see what happens to him. So he has a total of 16 years in prison. This was the guy that actually stole the police vehicle. Find 615 bucks, find 853 bucks, random proba probation, 11 months prison, $7,000, nine years, 4,000, five years, and then all this other stuff, guys. So <laughs> that is insane. So he has a total of 16 years in prison. All right, awesome. I'm actually trying to get rid of all these people because I don't want this thing to be filled up with names. You guys know what I mean? I actually don't know how to actually delete these names. So, <laughs> all right, so we got Max Anderson next week out. Next off, we have Iv. Next off, we have is Calium Ais. Uh, so he was trespassing, possession of a deathly weapon, and attempted murder on a police officer. This guy was running around with a knife. Uh, so he was fined 47 years in prison. Holy crap! Oh my God! So this guy was trespassing. Uh, fined 800 or 689 dollars, eight months of prison. Uh, possession of a deadly weapon was not guilty, though. But attempted murder of a police officer. And was guilty with that. Okay, I don't know what's going on here. So we had 47 months or 47 years in prison for Kellyum. And also with the actual drugs as well, he will be added another 2,000 or two years in prison with that. 
All right, and then the person we just uh, try to stop uh, with the raiding arrest, reckless driving, speeding 100, mu 100 plus, Grand Theft Auto on possession of heroin. This person with the Grand Theft Auto, they were fined two years in prison, uh, fined $833, license was revoked, uh, granted probation, and then all these other fines right here, guys. All right, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of LSPDFR. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a like. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on that post notification bell. Let me, guys, let me know what you guys think of this actual car skin. I think it actually looks freaking dope. This is probably one of my favorite car skins that I've ever actually used. It just looks so sick. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give a like. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post and get post notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I cannot talk tonight. Holy crap, guys. All right. I'll see you guys next one. Like, I'm subscribed. I'll see you guys later. Peace out, everybody.